Hey guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with part 2 of building the Ghostbusters the video game Ectomobile. Comparing the video game models to the other reference pictures I have, the 1B has a completely different interior than either of the movie cars. So I took the Polar Lights interior and I cut out the floor, the seats, the console, and basically stripped out the whole passenger side in the back. And I'll be rebuilding that all with sheet styrene. And so here's the revised interior with all the panels in place. I still need to do a little bit of cleanup here along the edges where I've got some filler, but generally I'm pretty happy with how this is coming along. Now there was one problem, because this is all one flat area now, instead of having a drop down area here by the door and then a raised section here, is it does run into the chassis. It should look like that. So what I had to do was I had to cut out a section of the chassis there, so that, that drops in. And what I'll do is I'll just go back through and add a new fuel tank from my parts box, clean up that frame rail where I had to cut it out, and it won't be 100% accurate, but it'll look the part when I'm done. So here I've got the filling and sanding done, and I've also got a couple little filler pieces in the corners just to dress it up. And I've also got the chassis work just about finished. And while it's not an exact match to what I took out, I think it looks pretty close and serves the purpose of what I need. It is a little bit low here and here, but I think once everything's painted black and detailed, and I'm going to be adding a fuel tank here from either my parts box or scratch built, I'm not sure which yet, but I think that'll look fine. So that's it for now. Check back next week to see the finished chassis, and I'll also be starting work on the roof rack. Thanks for watching.